This is Blazer Dono, the toughest trailblazer you'll ever see. A real powerhouse who continues to mostly solo his way through Star Rail. And a real big jerk who rejected Firefly's idea of a photo at that heartfelt moment. Out of nothing more than the curiosity of what would happen. It just so happens, it led to an even more curious inquiry. Since I rejected her photo request, what's on the ground after that cutscene? Well, <laughs> I suppose this is to be expected. Can't put something there that doesn't exist. Though it would have been neat if it was swapped with another memory of your stroll around Golden Hour with her. You know, like when you spent all her money to get important food buff items. <laughs> yeah, that could have worked. Have the trailblazer pick up the receipt and look back fondly on all the tasty food they got for free. Living the dream, baby. Now then, let's get down to business. One foe remains for Penacone's opening act. Stellaron Hunter, Sam. Up until now, Blazer Dono hasn't really had the honor of having a true one-on-one -on -one fight. The boss is always summoned, some kind of helper, or the battle will begin with helpers already on the field. I mean, I can't blame them. I too would want backup if I were staring down this absolute beast in combat. But my pal Sam without the Poe? Gonna finally give me the one-on-one -on -one I've always wanted. <laughs> Hey, pal, you forgot the most dangerous one. You're a Stellaron hunter, aren't you? How can you so casually overlook the dude who has one of those inside of him? The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Bro, that's it? 83 damage? How weak are you? I will set the seas ablaze. Huh? Consume skill points to attack or inflict weakness break Sam out of the secondary combustion state? Proofreaders, you may want to double check that. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter, who was behind your ultimate departure. <laughs> I can't help but feel something is wrong here. He's dealing less damage than something unto death. Maybe his stats aren't scaled correctly for lower equilibriums? Well, whatever the case, this is without a doubt the easiest boss I've encountered to date. Bro constantly hurts himself, trading his health for a power boost that essentially does nothing. I understand it takes health from me if I use skill while in this state, but that's the thing. I do not need to use it. That's how little damage he's dealing. This dude actually went down before he could get me to half health, meaning Guard of Wuthering Snow's passive healing effect never activated. Never had to use Black Swan's attack, never had to use skill, never had to use ultimate. That's right, I beat him by only pressing Q. If that's the case. I think this boss has a very interesting concept. Use skills, get hurt. It's a decision one is supposed to have to weigh when battling him. Except they made his attacks deal so little damage that the consequence of skills consuming health means nil. It was true for my main account as well. Sam never had a chance to get through Gepard's shield. And even if he could, Lynx was just waiting to pounce at the chance to heal. In other words, if you're having trouble with Sam, just add a shielder and healer to your team, grab a snack, and watch as he flails about at 2x speed until the dude collapses from exhaustion. That said, I very much look forward to Sam being added to future simulated universe worlds. A buffed version of him where the mechanics can shine sounds very interesting. This situation feels familiar. The game is telling me to go see Aventurine, 
but Blazer Dono is saying he still has the right to decide. Can I choose not to side with the Venturine? Sure enough, after walking around a bit, I noticed this door could be interacted with. It's like when you can choose to not join the Astral Express at the beginning of the game. Another alternate ending to Star Rail. However, this one is a bit curious. Everyone here is showing up as question marks. Everyone except Sparkle. That's a little ironic. Is it because Sparkle may well be interchangeable with question marks since nobody knows her actual name? Or is it because she's the only one on Pentacony not lying about things? You do have to join Aventurine after viewing the alternate ending, which brings us to the end of version 2.0's Pentacony Adventure. Now we wait for 2.1. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Blazer Dono. There's more Pentacony to come, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep informed of new episodes. And feel free to follow me on Twitter at Musashidin for sneak peeks or strange finds. This is Musashi and Blazer Dono, signing off. Till next time.